Uh, well, good morning everyone. It's time for a, a, another another video blog from the, the new workshop, which is the, the kitchen table. Um, I'll just deal with the negative, slightly negative news first, and it just gets it out of my head and yeah, um, stops annoying <laughs> stops annoying me so much this morning. So it's um, it, as 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 I film, uh, it's early June 2023, and we're having having this extraordinary spell of really nice weather. Um, which, is, which is really annoying me because um, I'm really subject to hay fever and it just seems to be a really bad year. I think we've got this consistent easterly wind so there's a huge bloom of pollen coming all the way from bloody Essex or, so, or somewhere. It's really uncomfortable outside. Uh, this morning I uh, woke up really congested, really itchy and had, a, had to go and have a shower straight, straight away. It just seems to help to you know, cool my skin down and get, get rid of the, the pollen. Uh, and house dust and whatever. So uh, there's, there's, there's that, that's why I'm in the house as well. Uh, so is sewing and, and working down here. Negative news today uh, is kind of getting a bit embarrassing almost in that uh, the sales still aren't here and that's the really big thing that's now, uh, you know, just, 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 just stopping the project from, from moving forward at all. And the really annoying part of that is that there's been no communication from the sale maker whatsoever. Now I realise, I do realise that you know a sale maker, it, it's not a, a corporate sort of conglomerate. It's a you know it's a small outfit, but you know there is a secretary there, and there is you know there is an organisation, and I feel it's almost a bit like the problem we have with the NHS, which is the biggest complaint about um, the NHS is the lack of communication. It's a, and it, it just it just bugs me this morning that you know. It's now another two weeks uh, since I uh, phoned them, and they said, "Oh, you know, they're in the, your sales are in the workshop." And I think, well, you know, two weeks later they should have been through the sewing machine and be right here. And they're not, so that's that. So just get that out of the way, and then you know what's going on. The other slightly negative thing is that I think we we're, we're having to cancel a trip, and that is that um, the, the, this month. Or sorry, I think it's early next month. Uh, we're due to go down to Norfolk or across to Norfolk for you know a, a week of camping, which is a really nice thing to do. It just gets us it gets us away from here, and we have we we have a week away. And I'd thought to literally take the boat with us, which is you know it, it's ready it's ready to go, apart from sails, and apart from not having say an engine. And what I what I ha had this great plan, which was to take the boat to Wells next to sea, lovely place. Because there is a um, there's a there's, there's certainly a concrete slipway there. There's a little almost like a boat yard. It's a the harbour, excuse me, the harbour the, the harbour commissioner's compound. And what I thought to do was launch the boat on the hard slipway, park the boat in the harbour commissioner's place, and then have an additional week in Norfolk, just messing around with the boat and just enjoying the, the places that I've always wanted to go with a small boat and that's kind of the area between uh, Deepdale, Wells, Morston, Blakeney, Stiffkey uh, and so on. And, yeah, we could have a really nice week just, just messing around almost in, in, in the inshore it's sort of harbours and the estuaries there. So uh, this week uh, uh, I contacted the, the, the harbour master at Wells asking if you know could we could we do that could we launch a boat and park the, the trailer in the half commissioner's compound uh, and so on and they just said straight no they, they, they just they just won't accommodate that so their 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 best suggestion was maybe to either uh, put the the boat in at, at Blakeney which is possible but I, I I know what the ground is like there it's it's slightly muddy there and the same thing with also at Morston there is a there is a slipway there but it's I know there it's slightly steeper and the ground is soft. It, it's not it's not a concrete slipway, it's something like mud and sand and shale. And what I worry with is with our car setup and particularly with the trailer setup, is that we might have enough ground pressure to to, to sink ever so slightly and to make the the resistance of getting the boat out on a wet surface really hard. And I, th I think this this suggests also something that I've got to do in the winter which is to change up my trailer tyres from the conventional uh, four inch wide tyres that, that, we've, that we've got, they're, they're the ones that are standard, to six inch balloon tyres to reduce the ground pressure for, for soft slipways. And uh, it's just not something I'd really thought about, but, uh, but I, I do think we, we probably have a fairly heavy setup 
that could sink sink a bit on a soft surface. So anyway, that's that's the negative news out of the way, and we'll just bump you know, jump onto the the, the nice the nice stuff um, before I start sneezing again. Okay, so <laughs> catch you in a moment. So let's start with the, uh, the the positive news today, rather than you know focusing on the negative. Obviously, the big thing that's happened this week is that we've been out for a very first drive with the you know, obviously the car and the, uh, the boat on its trailer, and um, we we deliberately didn't go for a launch because all I wanted to do in this first session was was literally to get the boat out of here, which is difficult to get the boat. Uh, through the village which is even more difficult and then to go out and do a, a simple kind of test of driving out on the road to see what problems we've we've, we've come up against and it's a really good really good experience learns a lot from it I think we need a few things uh, modified already I think for example we need extension mirrors something like caravan mirrors because we have a, a huge blind spot behind not just the car because that's where the boat is but behind the boat itself it's almost like a you know a long a long truck is that there's a big um, blind spot there which I, I kind of want to be able to see into I think it also demonstrates that we ought to have a, a, at least a, a front dash cam because it just shows it will probably capture some of the absolutely stupid incidents that even happened on on this this first drive out I won't say those are all other people's faults I mean Although I, uh, you know, tried to drive not slowly but as, if you like, carefully and consistently and smoothly as possible, we still got into situations where we were perhaps contributing to, you know, a not ideal situation of other people kind of not understanding how to deal with such a, a long vehicle, you know, on, on the road. So anyway, we, we've done that, and we've still got the launch to do, um, which hopefully will be. We're almost, we're almost within the time frame that I'm making this video. But we just haven't done it yet, so that's the that's the first you know piece of positive news, which, which is good. Uh, so on to the uh, the normal uh, second the, the second kind of kind of sequence that uh, I'm planning to do with this with this uh, video series, and that's uh, what's on the bench. I'm in the house, obviously, because it's um, really uncomfortable out in the workshop with the amount of pollen. We just seem to have this consistent uh, easterly wind, which is just giving us a huge bloom of pollen. And as I said earlier, you know, I, I woke up in a puddle of snot this morning, really congested, really itchy, and having to have, have two or three showers a day just to wash the pollen off me. So on the bench, on the bench this morning, uh, I've been carrying on uh, with, with with this project. And um, this is uh, like a it's like a bolster bag for a thermarest. And I've got two of these uh, I've made from scrap fabric. And the more successful one, I think, is this one, which you can see from the ends. You can actually see the the inner the thermarest bag itself. And so it's more like a sleeve that's got a, a, a cinching in at the end. And it, it's hung from these 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 D rings. So this was an experiment, and it's an experiment that it does several jobs at once. I mean, firstly, we we actually have these old thermorists there. They are the original thick camp thermorists. They must be 20 years old. We we had a long outdoor life with them. Um, I used to use one of these on the road when I was out in my my four wheel drive. And then sitting in the workshop for a few years thinking, yeah, what, what are we going to do with them? With them? I'll give them away to someone else who might use them. And I suddenly found out uh, a few weeks ago that this, this length is uh, the exact right length uh, to go between frames in the cockpit of the Pathfinder. And it's almost exactly the right thickness to, 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 to stuff under the side deck there. And I think when I make the actual ones, I'm going to make the bag ever so slightly larger and let the let the the mat inflate inside the bag a bit and that will give us additional buoyancy in the cockpit and take and take up that useful space we don't actually we don't actually use these uh, to sleep on because in the boat we've actually got a pair of more modern uh, larger thermarests that have a, a a foam a foam mass addition so they're really thick they're really really comfortable but these would seem to uh, fulfill a, a really useful purpose 
And what I'm waiting for, it, it's, um, it's quite annoying really, is that I, I completely forgot that we had a bank holiday coming up. And so it's the middle of a week of, in the week after a bank holiday and uh, the fabric sim simply hasn't arrived and all the bits haven't arrived. So I'm kind of sitting here a bit wondering what to do next. And um, what I'm going to do today probably is is put the fittings on the boat so I can actually hang these on the outside of the boat as fenders. So I'll just you know I'll show you a quick couple of photographs of that. And that's another small job uh, dealt with. Well, I think that's it for this week. Uh, my my self-appointed sort of ten-minute video is already up. So I'm going to have a cup of coffee, then I'm going to have a shower, and then I'm going to do some work on the boat. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you um, next time, hopefully with some more, a more, a more, more positive video. Thank you, and have a really good day.